Congratulations. I know it's release day for Gray Street. Must be nice mm-hmm. to have that finally out into the world. Indeed, yeah. I, I don't know how you look at this because, you know, the, the switch over from, you know, this solo band, what you were doing in the mid 2000s or in the two, early 2000s to mm-hmm. adding a person and then it becomes Big Wreck again. I mean, does it all seem like it was still one continuous thing or is this the third album since the reunion? I think there's a marked market if you thought, I don't even know if you can say that but it there's there's a to, in my mind there's a noted difference from albatross to now just because of the situation that I was in and then going in to make a record it was like well uh, I was finally with management and with a label that was like well let's just let him go in and let, make the record he wants to make yeah. as opposed to like well we got to do this we got to try that we got to do it this way um and people instantly say oh well that sounds like the early Big Rec stuff, um, which, you know, I can see what they mean, but I think there's, I think they're probably reacting to the sort of vibe of, of trying things and, and experimenting and, and growth um, as opposed to dumbing things down and trying to make a hit. You know? right. um, <clears throat> so, I, you know, I, I think this is an extension of, of that sort of whatever whatever happened, whatever page was turned when, when we did Albatross, I think um, I think this is an extension of that, like through Albatross to Ghost to Now, I think. Uh, this is just, a, it's, it's along those lines, but, but further down the track. Yeah, I, I was, I was kind of looking at it as those different chapters, I guess, like you were talking about, and it's almost like, you know, if Albatross was the reunion record, and, and then, you know, your second one was proof, or the one after it uh, was proof that it was real, and you guys are here. I mean, this is the first time that you've been able to continue, because what, it was two records, you know, the first time around before uh, everything stopped, right? I mean, this is this is finally yeah. the third record in a row, I guess is what I'm getting at. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, I guess it, it sort of took me a long time to sort of realize that, that you know, making making music for yourself first and foremost is is really kind of where it's at. As selfish as that sounds, um, you're not really going to be happy. I mean, if you're an artist, you're not you're not going to be happy making what other people want to hear. Mm-hmm. So I, you know, I, I think I'm very lucky. We're very lucky to to still be able to do this and and have people at least be somewhat interested in what we're doing, you know? Um, the search never stops. The growth never stops. The learning never stops. The, uh, you know, I still don't feel that I've arrived at something. I'm still searching for something. So it's, yeah, I mean, I'm just, yeah, totally lucky to be able to, to do this and and have a, another kick at the can, put out another record, you know, go and play, play shows for people. It's, yeah. Um, every time, every time I put out a record, I feel that way. But yeah, I hadn't, I hadn't looked at it in that, in that sense. So yeah, three in a row. And <coughs> I know there's been, you know, it's it's also written in your press release too. But it's hard not to when you first listen to it. Like I, I love this record, and its first few songs stand out so quickly. And and then you realize, like, yeah, this is this is a guitar record in 2017. This is a, a rock and roll band when yeah. that's become. Um, a more endangered species, <laughs> you know. It's and it's it's ballsy. It's ballsy yeah. to be a rock band in 2017. Yeah, I guess so. I don't feel. I, I feel pretty endangered right now. I'll tell you that. Um, <laughs> but no, I, you know, I, I I appreciate that, and and uh, and I guess I agree with it. But I don't really. I just kind of make music. You know, I just kind of do what I love to do, and and that is create music and sound and it, like if it's not uh, um, heavy enough to be considered this or, or not poppy enough to be considered that I don't really care um, I don't really pay attention to the to the labels of it anymore it just doesn't matter there's so many of them is it alt rock or is it you know active rock or modern rock I don't care man it's just it's rock and roll it's just music you know I'll tell you what it's not but as far as what it is it's, it's you know and I like it that way. I, yeah. I think, you know, this record certainly just has such variety and, and such a broad scope and so many colors. Um, and, and emotionally, the, the stuff that's, that's um, sort of woven through all of those, is, is, it's a deep record and it means a lot to me and I, I, I adore it. I mean, it's, 
I think it's a beautiful piece of work, and I'm really, really proud of it. It's definitely I got mean, the variety all over it. I mean, uh, yeah, like I said, even from the uh, the teaser songs that you get, you know, that were released uh, ahead of today, you know, it's almost like every single one of them is is so different from you know the popular versions. Just something like uh, how do you say it? Skybunk March. Marche. Yeah. Marche. I mean, that's a seven and a half minute guitar blitz of an instrumental. You know, what's <laughs> what, what's the story behind that one? <laughs> Um, see, I even giggle. It's just, I just, there's some, there's some sort of goofy about doing something like that. Um, but yeah, it was Garth. Uh, Garth, Garth just kind of. Uh, maybe we were jamming, like Dave and Chuck and I were just sort of jamming. You know, you pick a pick a riff or pick a something and just sort of go off and, on a tangent and have have fun and sort of have a musical conversation you know like comedians will sit around the table and try to one-up each other it's that kind of thing mm-hmm. jamming um, maybe he walked in on one of those and like you know what we should do an instrumental and we're all like <laughs> and then he's like no i'm serious i was like whoa um this is, of course it was met with a i don't know dude that's not my bag um and then it was like you know it's after that uh once the once that the idea is sort of rested for a minute. I was like, ah. So when I got I got home, I started basically sewing together all these pieces that we weren't going to use on the record. Like all that. There's a usually just a, a a ton of music that's that's um in the running for the record, and you sort of pick the stuff that's that's going to fit together and going to work, and and you know going to paint the picture you want. Um, and this is, that doesn't mean that the stuff that's, that you're not using is is you know not good. Um, it's perhaps just not ready. Then I'm not religious about old ideas or new ideas or any of that stuff. What's good is good, and I just take all these great riffs and started sewing them together. Wow! Um, and then started blowing ahead over it, or to, uh, like playing a playing a lead line over it. That's such an um, interesting way to put a song together, and it works too. Because yeah, I mean, was, I can't it, tell it that it's different. piecemeal. Yeah, well, no, I mean, it, it, that's sort of how it started. Um, once we started jamming on it, it, it sort of took on a life of its own very rapidly. Mm-hmm. Um, it was just like, okay, this piece, this piece, and then that piece, and then, oh, and then this. And it just, it all came together really quickly. And and you know what? It's a hoot. It's just a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, and it should be taken as such. I'm not trying to take anybody down at the top of the Guitar Hero <laughs> Mountain or anything stupid like that. It really is just... Um, I love those old Jeff Beck records from the seventies, and that's why we went with the, the sort of the really dry, dead drum sound, you know, and that sort of vintagey feel, as opposed to the big, massive, you know, sort of modern with all the samples and all that stuff. It's just a real vintage sounding you know, instrumental bit. So, is that something you guys I, are going to pull I, out yeah. live? <laughs> <laughs> I promised the guys no, and then we've been pulling it out. <laughs> I said, I said, well, now that that's done, it's recorded, I said, we'll never have to play it live. <laughs> and then, of course, we went down to San Francisco and did that, uh, the Jim Dunlop sessions, and, and I was like, well, we're going to play it live. <laughs> uh, you know, and then, and then it was like, well, now that that's done, we're never going to play it live. Uh, and then it's like, you know, here we are. We're just yeah, doing, man. like, these um, sound check things with a VIP where, where people can come and hang out for sound check. And it's like, well, I don't want to blow my voice out. For, for the show, mm-hmm. I guess we're playing Skybunk. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> so yeah, it's 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 just kind of it just keeps sticking around. Yeah, I mean, I think the idea of seeing you guys uh, trying to one up each other uh, on stage would be a lot of fun to watch. You know, if it gets to that point, if it starts to play loose. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the a lot of the a lot of the stuff that we do tends to go there. You know, mm-hmm. um, it's certainly in, 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 you have a long tour. And you sort of have little allotted spaces during the set where, okay, there's going to be a there's, a there's a jump off point, you know, and that's when a lot of that sort of uh, interplay can can take place. Yeah. But it's, uh, we still haven't pull, pulled it out in the set though. That's because that's a tough sell. Yet. You know, I, I still have this. I still, yeah, yet exactly. See, <laughs> um, I just I, I have this fear that it's going to be the most polarizing thing we've ever done. Like as soon as you start launching into an instrumental, like. All the chicks just bail. <laughs> uh, you know, just 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 guitar nerds, and then the audience is cut down by three quarters. You know, <laughs> um, but it, it honestly, it is. It's 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 fun. So. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the listen. But I'll say, I, I'm going to go ahead and pick a favorite on this one. Um, 
I, I cannot get you don't even know out of my head. F- oh, wonderful. For weeks now, or however long it's been out there. But, yeah. it, you know, it's got that great, I don't know, I keep thinking it's a, a bit of a, a Stones groove to it. Oh, big time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what we were going for. What's, um, the, yeah, what's yeah, the story there? A, I don't know. It's just a, it's just a, I just think it's a tasty riff. And, uh, and I think it's catchy, and, there's, and it's got, a, it's, got a, its own particular vibe. And then once the sort of the falsetto ooze were, were, they popped out, and it was like, okay, well, now it's, now it's going to be like, miss you, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Which I, we, you know, which I adore. I think that's that's great. Fantastic. You know, I'm not trying to rip something off. I'm no. just hats off, boys. But yeah, it's just you know, and it's and it's something a little different for us because we usually, you know, we'll lean more towards the Beatles and Led Zeppelin than we will with Stones. If, if you go the like, you, if you can call it like a style of rock and roll, <laughs> right? Um, right. You know, but it's it's just for me, it's just a, it's our own sort of twist on that kind of thing. It's 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 just a great groove and and again I love the whole record Gray Street you you knocked that out of the park on this one, um, thanks man and you know I, I, the, even the first album Loving Memory of was so important to me so it's been really fun watching you guys throughout the years and and trying oh, all right the different on. sounds but uh, but this one's you know it's up there it's a, a pretty instant favorite so I'm I'm glad it's out into the world right on thanks very much for saying so man that means a lot all right well yeah. uh, take care Ian and we'll see you around sometime all right man. All right.